Try to educate the heart. I've been in the little five points, getting close to about 15 years. Longer than most of the stores and businesses out here, most of the independent entrepreneurs. I've stood 10 toes on this spot, and to date I've sold 91,000 copies of my album and counting. I've been showcasing my art since 96, during the 96 Olympics. Um, at that time, I did fork jewelry made out of um, sterling silver forks or stainless steel forks. Um, it's progressed since then, <laughs> honestly. My father actually told me at a time in my life that I was really wanting to know what I was to become. And he said, if you want to be an artist, you need to get outside the box, go find yourself, go into the city where the arts is more abundant, you know what I'm saying, for you to succeed in what you are going for your talent. What brought me to Little Five Points was the actual um, eclectic nature and the, uh, the free thinking of a lot of the people associated around the business association and a lot of the people that are vendors and the, uh, the entrepreneurs out here. Pretty much you could bring any type of culture, any type of race, creed, gender, belief system, and they all out here at the same time. And they can coexist functionally without, you know, killing each other over who's voting for who or who believes in what. And I always encourage my culture, of course, but I'm amongst other cultures. Legend is one of the only people I'm willing to share my space with. Everybody else are pretty much opportunists and um, a lot of times what we call weekend warriors. You know, they don't actually patron the neighborhood. They just come here to try to make money and go. So for the few that show longevity and history out here, yeah, we usually build pretty good relationships. We don't just want to eat off of the neighborhood. We don't want to just take our funds and run from the neighborhood. Not only do we give back to the neighborhood, but we actually care. We actually help people out in the neighborhood. I like the fact that another artist is willing to sit next to me and present their art. Why? Because now that's room for growth for both of us, for the old as well as the young. Young now have a have, have ability to learn how to not be so nervous, not how to present, you know what I'm saying? The old has enough within them to see the vigor of your youth, to understand, you know, sometimes I need to stay up with the fresh and up-and-coming things because it keeps me from becoming stagnant, you know what I'm saying? I once got in trouble for comparing this neighborhood to a growing version of the Virginia Highlands. The reason why I called it that was because during the time of the presidential administrations and things that were going on, Atlanta started to get a new gentrified light to it. So they started taking a lot of the history out of the city. When I arrived here in about 2002 or 2001, I can't recall, um, this neighborhood was a lot more eclectic and through, over the years you started to see it become more commercialized, more corporate. Just when you think that everything in the corporate realm, everything is like cookie cut and looks a certain way, even they use that as a template for marketing. You know what I'm saying? So believe it or not, everything is marketable, everything has some kind of worth. Yeah, the space means nothing. It's all about the artist, it's all about the art. The art can travel, the, the art can last forever. Spaces are every single day.